Hi, and welcome to Infertility Unfiltered, where fertility warriors and experts are joining forces to provide you with tips, information, tricks, inspiration, and all of the things so that you can start taking back control of your life and get your baby on board. Hi, I'm Jennifer Robertson, and today we are joined by Emma Brzezinski. Now, Emma is a therapist working from a shamanic perspective and a fertility coach. After many years of working both within the NHS and private practice, her own journey through IVF led her to help women navigate the emotional and spiritual aspects of the fertility roller coaster. She offers a range of support, including her IVF Got This Facebook group and Positive Fertility magazine. And today we're talking about something that is so important on this journey, and it's tuning into your intuition and making decisions with confidence because there are so many decisions that we have to make on this journey. And if we can make them with confidence, that is one thing that is ticked off the list. And if you stick around to the end, Emma is going to tell you how you can get your hands on her backlist bundle, which is a free positive fertility magazine. So thank you so much for joining us, Emma Brzezinski. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Now, before we dive into how to tune into your intuition and make decisions confidently, would you just be able to tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you into this path? Yes, well, I never intended to be a fertility coach or be involved in, or even have a fertility journey. I don't think anybody sets out for that, um, but I did. Um, and it was, as for many people, very difficult very painful it involved phantom pregnancy and a miscarriage and then eventually into IVF which was successful and I am so grateful for that um but it was as I'm sure many people know it was completely devastating and it got me to a place I would say it's like the boot camp for the soul because it got me to the place where I was just on my knees and I was like I need help I'm going to draw in everything I can um and I'm going to make this, uh, yeah, I'm just going to draw in the energy to me. Um, and I just went on this kind of adventure um, and learned all sorts of stuff and, and made connection, which I still use to this day. So I kind of, I, I, I wouldn't wish this <laughs> on anyone, but it certainly set me up um, for, yeah, the life I have now, really. Absolutely. And I love that how this, this path can, or this, this something that is so traumatic can put us on a completely different path. So I love that. Yeah. Now, before we yeah. get into how we can make decisions with confidence and, and how we can make decisions from a place of intuition, can you just tell us a little bit, what, what is intuition? So I say that intuition is like, I like spiritual nudges. And um, I'm quite far down the woo-woo path um, and you might not, you might be at the other end of it, but even if you are, you will have experienced this. It can be that kind of like, oh, I wonder what ever happened to Karen. And then the phone rings and it's Karen or um, you open a book and it's exactly what you needed to read. Um, those are the nudges. Um, and we or lots of us have that sense of the kind of a hunch of this is the thing that we should do or this is the thing we shouldn't do and then we look back and go oh, I knew that I knew I should have done that or I knew I shouldn't have done that um so yeah I think you will have had that experience absolutely and and why is it so hard for us to rely on that intuition yeah, right. So it's crazy. So we're getting all this information and we're just ignoring it. We're going, oh, no, I won't do that. Even though I think I should, we rationalize it away. And I think that's because, well, mainly because culturally the, the mind is, is the, the thing, right? The mind is the thing. We are to be rational beings. Um, and so that's, that's what we let rule the day. Um, and there is a quote from Einstein, which I am going to butcher, um, but he says something like, we, we can't solve a mental problem with our minds. Like the, the mind is, is part of the problem, perhaps. Um, that probably isn't exactly what he was saying, but that this sense of actually using our intuition, using our heart, using our soul, being aware of spirit, that can help us to... Um, to make decisions in a, in a more centered way rather than kind of thinking and, and getting caught up in the thoughts. 
Yeah, and and we were talking about this before, how hard it is because you're up against, um, you know, fertility specialists, your IVF doctor, your, your, you know, the decisions that you're making have huge monetary consequences um, and you have all of this stuff that, you know, like do you, do you trust a hunch, like a little tap on your shoulder or do you trust the guy in front of you with, with a, you know, a medical degree? Like how do you get to that point where, where you can rely so much on your intuition that like you're, you know, you can break through that barrier. Yes. And I guess this is why it is a boot camp, right? <laughs> because um, it does usually mean a change of um, behavior. Cause actually going into, especially if you're going into fertility treatment, you're going to see the doctor and that for, for lots of us is about listening to authority, being a good girl, doing as you're told um, and actually your hunch may be I know he's saying to try another round next month but it just doesn't feel right to me to do that um, but he's telling me that so I need to do that or something so you end up feeling conflicted but I would just encourage you to listen to that hunch to make it equal at the table rather than dismissing it straight away. I'm not, and so that, that it's really important to, because quite often, as we know, that hunch, when you come to the end of that cycle and it didn't work, you go, I, there was something in me that's saying not to do that. And I did it and he, against my, against my better judgment. So listen, because at least if you, at least if you give that intuition equal weighting, even if, as I say, it depends on where you are on the woo-woo line, but even if you give it equal weighting and listen to it, that can help you to feel better about the decisions that you're making rather than just taking on information. And I think it's so wild, isn't it? We're more likely to listen to the lady on the bus of what they think about what we should do than what we think we should do, which is wild. But again, I think culturally, as women, we are encouraged to listen and be outside ourselves and, and to listen to other people and not value ourselves so much. So I think that is, a, that is um, really important to value yourself and to turn the volume up on that little voice that says, no, I, I'm not sure this is right. I'm not sure that, can we think about this? Can we, so to, to, to turn the volume up on that, so then you can give that equal weighting. And, and is it more about tuning into how you feel rather than how you think, like making the transition? Because I think a lot of the time as well, you know, we want to, we almost don't want to make the decision ourselves because we don't want to be wrong, you know, and we almost try to put the decision on our doctor or whoever it is or the lady on the bus. So it's almost like, yeah. so we can, at the end of the day go, well, the lady on the bus told me that so I can blame her rather than blame <laughs> ourselves. How do we, Absolutely. how do we avoid that, that, that cycle? Absolutely. And that again is why it is boot camp because it is stepping into your own decisions and making your own decisions. And that is super, super scary. Um, but I think there is a sense, if you are be if you are drawing on and listening to and valuing yourself, there's a whole different feeling to it. There's a whole different feeling to it. And I think that, and this was, I say, this was a journey for me in terms of starting off and just going, oh, well, they're going to tell me what to do and I'm going to do it to where I got to at the end. It's like, this is my journey. This is my, <laughs> and they're part of the team, but they're part of the team. It's not, it's not there. They're not calling the shots. There's a whole different quality to it. And this is your journey. This is you making your family. Um, so I think it's really important to think about that. And, and as I say, you, it doesn't mean that you have to kind of jump in right at that end of it. It's a continuum. And you, I, what I do think can be really useful with intuition is to just start experimenting and trying out. So the hunches that perhaps don't have such huge stakes to start with, um, oh, I should go to, to that petrol station and not that petrol station or wh whatever it is, and then see what it is about that. Because so often, it happens to me very, very often now that I kind of, I, I, I think, 
oh, I have to go there today at that time. I don't really know why. And then I meet the person that I need to meet. Like it so often happens because when you listen to it, magic happens. I promise you magic happens. But you might want to just start off with those little things and then you can start to trust yourself more because you're like, oh yeah, no, that was right. That decision was right. And so now I know that if I've got that feeling, I've got that hunch, I can, I can, and I, I don't, I'm calling it a hunch. I don't even want to call it a hunch. I've got that wisdom, <laughs> wisdom. Do you see how pernicious it is? Um, uh, I've got that wisdom and I'm going to follow that. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I guess we know our bodies so much better than anyone else because we've been living in our bodies for our whole life and for a complete stranger to come in and, and tell us what we should or shouldn't be doing. Like, I think it's really empowering that you kind of go like, I, like I'm going to take the driver's seat, you know, like a lot of, a lot of us on this journey are very, you know, like we like control and that's the thing that we, <clears throat> that, that's probably one of the hardest things is we feel like we don't have control, but while we don't have control of the outcome, we have control of the path and the decisions that we make. And you said just before, you know, in terms of wrong decision, let's talk about, a right decision and a wrong decision and and what are your thoughts in you know in punishing ourselves and we're like well i made the wrong decision like i've always been of the view that there are no wrong decisions there are merely learning opportunities like what, what's your view on that totally agree with you there and i i think the thing is the kind of the the worst case scenario is that being in that place of like oh, i know I, sh I knew i should have done that or i knew i should have said that that is the that is the rod which you can beat yourself with you <laughs> for years with so actually to kind of say well i did listen to myself and i have i have i, I made that decision with the best information i had at that time this is what i felt was right this is how i went forward or this is what, what, what I felt was right. And this is why I didn't go forward with that feeling. Cause we're not, you know, I, I know that that's difficult for some people and blimey, my training is as an academic. So I was all about the heads and that's why it was such a massive learning for me. But honestly, it truly is magic. So I just want to say that again, <laughs> but I totally understand going, right, actually, I'm going to just try it. I'm going to just take baby sits. But yeah, I think I say now I'm way down the other end of the woo woo and, um, to, talking to spirit and spirit would always say there's kind of if you ever say you know people come for journeying and say well now i know not to ask shall i do this because the answer all is almost always yes because spirit will say yes try that out um but actually spirit might say now i've learned to say um show me what will happen if because um, spirit might say that this is a brilliant opportunity for you to learn all about despair and loss and <laughs> we don't necessarily want those learning opportunities but from from that perspective it's a brilliant opportunity but I, what I would say again then is 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 asking questions and think being intentional about what you want to get out of that experience and of course in a fertility situation is I, I want to move forward to my, the, the life that I am dreaming of that's what that's what I want yeah absolutely I, I love everything about that and it's and it's about not blaming ourselves either or blaming someone else's and just taking you know taking it's a lot of self-responsibility as well yeah. um, which is I think we live in a, a huge blame culture that we just try to you know put the responsibility on other people you know whereas we can actually stand in our own power <clears throat> and tune into our intuition and make our decisions with confidence and and knowing that there is no wrong decision it is just a different learning opportunity Emma, it has been a complete pleasure talking to you can you tell our audience exactly how they can get their hands on your backlist bundle yes so if you go to um emma um which presumably there'll be a link for you to to follow that up um, then you can get um, the link to that and there are different editions there so there's an IVF edition there's an edition about loss there's an edition about egg health so um, there's lots of gorgeousness in there love that excellent thank you so much for joining it is it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you and thank, thank you for joining us as well
Now, if you want to hear more about this, if you like this interview as much as I did, make sure you give it a little bit of love. Make sure you share it, like it, and subscribe to this channel as well because there are so many more amazing interviews with amazing warriors and experts in fertility so that they can help you on your journey. And it's all part of the Infertility Unfiltered series. So thanks for watching.